Once upon a time, there was a poor but happy family had a little boy named Robert. Robert's father was a carpenter. They were barely making a living, and Robert was getting his pocket money by selling balloons. Another sad Christmas was approaching for Robert. Robert had never been able to get the sledge that he dreamed of every Christmas. In the Swiss Alps town of Grindelwald, the children of wealthy families each had a sled. The town's children made fun of Robert and insulted him whenever they could. Christmas preparations had already begun in the whole town. The streets were getting ready for the Christmas night. On the way home from work, Robert bought a sweet present for his blind grandmother. His grandmother understood from the tone of his voice that his grandson was sad and asked Robert, My dear grandson, why are you sad? I look forward to every New Year's Eve, but my wishes never came true, said Robert. Nobody plays with me because I'm poor and I don't have a sled, he added. Do you want me to tell you the story of Santa Claus? Yes, Grandma. I want to listen about Santa Claus. And Grandma started telling the story of Santa Claus. Long, long ago, there was a very benevolent and smiling man. One day this man was trying to pull reindeer out of the snow. An angel suddenly appeared. The angel told Santa that he was a good man and wanted to help him. The angel touched the reindeer and said, Now these reindeer are quite special, they have the ability to fly. Then the angel waved his hand and a group of little elves appeared. The elves wore green clothes, tall green hats, they had long and funny ears. Elves will pass gifts to their owners and bring happiness to many children. Also, elves are very fast and will help you make all kinds of toys, said the angel. Santa Claus was in shock but also very happy. The elves and Santa Claus got on the sleigh, and with the movement of the ropes, the reindeer flew into the sky, they spread happiness. Santa Claus said, Merry Christmas and good evening to you all. The next morning the children woke up and immediately ran to the fireplace. They took their toys from the socks and started to scream for joy. Mom, someone magically put a gift inside our sock. This is such a beautiful toy. This is the story of Santa. Tells you that Santa Claus is real. Never lose hope and know that Santa Claus will come one day. The next day, little Robert had gone to sell balloons again and was sitting on the corner on the street from the store. Robert had been eagerly watching other children get presents with their families. The rich kids who saw Robert came up to him and said that Santa Claus would not come to the dirty poor people's house to make fun of him and belittled Robert. Robert had returned home unhappy that day. That night Robert fell into a deep sleep. Half awake, he headed towards the window. He looked out and saw reindeer coming through the stars in the sky. He saw the reindeer rush towards their house and ran for the door. When he opened the door, he saw Santa Claus saying, Ho ho ho, with his white beard and smiling face. Santa dropped his backpack on the floor and took Robert's present from it. Robert couldn't believe his eyes. He had seen the sled he had dreamed of for years. Santa patted his face and said, Little Robert, you deserve this beautiful gift for not giving up on me and being patient. Santa is always on the side of the good. Little Robert, never forget that. Now put your gift next to your bed and come with me. Robert placed the gift on the edge of his bed and walked over to Santa. Santa Claus hugged him and sat him in his reindeer sleigh. The reindeer started flying and little Robert couldn't believe his eyes. He was traveling with Santa Claus among the stars. Little Robert. 
You are a special child and I have given you a gift as special as you. The sled I gave you is a flying sled and you can go anywhere you want with it. But on one condition, you will never lie and stay true to yourself all your life, so that your Santa will always be with you. It was morning and his grandmother woke little Robert. Little Robert looked frightenedly beside his bed. He was very happy that what he saw was not a dream and he hugged his grandmother happily. Little Robert told his grandmother what had happened and happily took his sledge and ran out into the street. He was soaring into the sky with his flying sled. His friends, who saw him, were speechless in astonishment. Little Robert had benefited from being a good, well-behaved boy. If you're a good and well-behaved child, you can see Santa. Don't lose your hope. English Rhapsody is an English developer channel that tells English fairy tales for children. You can support us by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. English Rhapsody Language School